Band Racing. On the outside, Serial ID comes out running for the lead. From the inside, Anapi is there and up the rail is out of Pate close to the pace today. Zero sits in the fourth position. He's going to be joined further out by St. Foxy. And then back along the inside, last of the group is Baby Blue. They whip around the turn and head towards the backside, and it is Serial ID. Alice Beckman showing the way, has the lead by two and a half lengths. They approach the quarter mile in a time of 24 and three fifth seconds. Sitting in second, it's the favorite, Anapi. Then another two lengths back in third to Zora. Then we drop back another two and a half up the inside, out of paint, followed by St. Foxy, and Baby Blue still can see them all. They race down the backside, and Serial ID has the lead. It's down to about a length and a half. Anapi now gaining stride and coming after the leader. So is Zora. And Tony Gallardo's got Zero moving nicely up the inside and challenging for second. Then on the outside, St. Foxy dropping back on the inside out of paint, and Baby Blue still at the back. Your half mile was 49 and two fifth seconds, and it is Alice Beckman and Serial ID clinging to a very short lead. On the outside, Anapi and a Emilio Flores now say go, and they're taking over on the lead. Right behind them, Zorro moving nicely and about to take second. Back in third towards the outside comes St. Foxy. It's Anapi with the lead. Zora on the outside, gaining momentum. Up into third, St. Foxy with a late bid. But right now, it looks like Anapi or Zorro. These two heads of bobbin as they head to the wire. Zora and Antonio Giard are now inching away for the victory. Back in second was Anapi. And St. Foxy finishes third from last. Baby Blue was up for fourth. Winning time was 140 and 4 fifth seconds. And they're up and racing in the second. Down the center, Risen Savior shows speed. Outside, there goes Summer Boss up the takeover. Into third is Golden Oak. Towards the rail comes N Rapa Nui. Then up the inside is El Duque. Far outside, Magic Wizard caught wide to the turn. As they head around that turn, out there with the lead, opening up by three and a half is Summer Boss and Adil Ayella getting away from the field early. Back in second, Risen Savior stalks that pace. Third towards the inside comes Golden Oak. And then another two and a half, three back to El Duque alongside Magic Wizard gaining momentum. And the trailer is still Rapa Nui. Down the backside, Summer Boss says the boss of this field so far opens up by seven or eight lengths down the backside. The quarter mile went in 25 and two. Sitting in second, it's still Golden Oak. And then we drop back another link on the outside to Magic Wizard gaining momentum. Then comes El Duque. After and at the back is Rapa Nui. They head around the turn. They're all chasing Summer Boss, winging it on the lead and opening up by eight still. In second, Risen Savior there, Golden Oak in fourth, looking to make up some ground. Alongside, here comes Magic Wizard and Mike Allen. Half mile, 50 and one fifth second. The one to catch remains Summer Boss. Has it by about four and a half now as they're starting to gain on the leader. In third, Risen Savior still there. Magic Wizard comes alive on the far outside, but a lot to do. Sitting in fourth is Golden Oak. Here comes Risen Savior after Summer Boss. On the outside, Golden Oak. Gabriel Martinez has this one coming best of the bunch. And Golden Oak will look him in the eye. Go on by, but Magic Wizard runs late, gets the second position back in third. Risen Savior photo for the fourth position, either El Duque or Summer Boss. The winning time was 145 and 4. And they're up and racing in the third. On the outside, Forgotten Peace jumps right out for the early lead, quickly passed outside by Tactical Pajamos, who moves up. Then Dana's Beauty down towards the inside third, alongside Single Lady, and I recall is at the back. They're chasing Tactical Pajamas out there with the lead under Huber Villa Gomez. In second is the favorite, Forgotten Peace, stocking that pace. Back in third, Dana's Beauty, followed by Single Lady, and I recall at the back. The quarter mile, 23 and 2 fifth seconds. Pace setter is Forgotten Peace who holds on to the lead. Excuse me, the pace setter is Tactical Pajamas, who holds on to the lead by just the length. Forgotten Peace, the favorite right there, second. And towards the inside third, Dana's Beauty getting a perfect trick from the back of the pack, I recall. And also there, a single lady. Top of the stretch, the one to catch, Tactical Pajamas, goes off the turn with a three parts of a length advantage over Forgotten Peace. Down on the inside comes Ira Call. Up the rail is Dana's Beauty. Then it's Single Lady. 
It's still tactical pajamas with the lead. Dana's Beauty on the inside. I recall down the center. And on the far outside, coming again is Forgotten Peace. Tactical pajamas puts this field asleep. Tight for second between I recall and Forgotten Peace. Down fourth was Dana's Beauty. They're in the gate and they're off and racing. Breaking on top is going to be Money and Honey. Up the rail, Hypno Tazada now moves through, takes over. Also moving through is Lady Marvel now to be second. Dropping back third, the early leader, Money and Honey. Then another two length back on the inside to Amazon Lizzie. Wild Lookers there on the outside. Another length back outside to the two Nancys. And then down along the inside, and moving to the outside, is Abby Snow White. Last of the group is Mongolian Mission. Opening quarter goes in 22 and 1 fifth second. And Hypno Tazada is the one to catch around the turn. He's got it by just a half length. Pressure on the outside from Lady Marver. David Delgado right there. Sneaking up the inside into contention. Coming back for more is Honey and Money. And on the far outside, Wild Looker further out. Here comes Abby Snow White. Full of run on the outside down on the inside money and honey takes the lead here comes a late bit on the outside from the two nancy's trying to pull a huge upset also there is amazon lily it's going to be money and honey taking the money late bit oh made it close mongolian mission from well back made it close it'll be close enough for a photo hold all tickets here in the fourth and they're off and racing on the outside, Magic Life comes right off for the lead with Jose Ortiz. Down the center, that is going to be real good vibes on the move. And up the inside, time for an angel now moves up, takes third. Outside in fourth is Beast Bunny, then comes Efficacious. And we drop back another two lengths to Dark Dahlia, followed by Reton. And the distant trailer there is Dream Warrior. They race down the back side, all chasing the favorite. And that is Magic Life with Jose Ortiz. He does the quarter in 22 and two fifth seconds. Outside second, Efficacia is putting a big run in after the leader. Back third towards the inside comes Real Good Vibes. And then in fourth is time for an angel looking to move up. They race around that turn and it's Magic Life, Jose Ortiz, the even money favorite the one to catch alongside second efficacious and rosario montanez trying to run him down then down along the inside it's real good vibe sitting in third down the side of the track looking for racing room here comes time for an angel time for an angel up the inside coming after magic life outside efficacious is right there too as well and from out of the clouds retan is full of run and coming after the lead retan gets the job done late move from dark dahlia for second back in third time for an angel and and in fourth was efficacious. Winning time, 111 and 1 fifth second. And away they go. Jumping off the lead, Uncle Remy there on the far outside. Rushing up from the between horses. There goes Cruz and Rocket up to take over on the lead. Also moving up is going to be Argyle, now sitting in second. Third towards the inside is Float Away. Then comes Jacko Metti racing in fourth. Another link back outside to Awesome Pudding. Then comes City Tripper close to the pace today. From the back of the pack, Lars and Asplunder will look to make up about seven links if they want to get to the leader, who is Cruz and Rocket. The quarter went in 22 and four fifth seconds, and Cruz and Rocket has a short lead. Argyle breathing down his neck on the outside and coming after the lead. Up into third is Jacko Go Medi. Then towards the inside comes Cruz and Rocket trying to hang tough for the leaders. On the far outside, here comes a late bid from Awesome Pudding down the center of the track. But the one to catch right now is Argyle and Aaron Walker. Outside, here comes Float Away running strong on the outside. Also moving late is going to be Jacko Medi between horses. City Tripper, three of them across the track. Lars gets the run and gets the victory here over Float Away. Back in third was Argyle and tight for fourth either. Jocko Medi or Ask Blunder. Winning time was 105 and 1. And they're off and racing in the seventh. Down the center of the track, Indian Spider Roo jumps out for the lead. Fire outside, Folk Hero is there to challenge. 
Then comes Aztec Princess, now passed on the inside by Marina Wool and Honey Holler, who are on the move. Right now, the favorite can see them all. They head around that turn, and with the lead, it's Indian Spideroo. Gadiel Martinez out there with a the lead about length and a half, two over Folk Hero. Back racing in the third position comes Marina Wool, followed by Honey Holler in fourth. Then comes the favorite right now, Aztec Princess, now the trailer. They head towards the opening quarter, 25 flat, and it is Indian Spideroo to set those early fractions. Now coming after him on the outside, Folk Hero is in three parts of a length of the leader. Behind him third, Marina Wool. Then comes to the far outside, Honey Holler. Marina Wool sits in fifth and at the back right now and then Aztec Princess. It's Indian Spideroo, long shot on the lead, trying to pull a huge upset here at 16 to one. The half mile was 50 and one fifth second. Now on the outside, Folk Heroes asked for a little bit more is right alongside to challenge for the lead. Racing in third on the outside, Honey Holler with Marina Wool fourth down along the inside and from the back of the pack come right now and Aztec Princess. Down on the inside, Indian Spideroo. Outside, Folk Hero, those two stride for stride with Honey Holler looming large on the outside. Marina Wool dashes towards the rail and will look for racing room. Was shut off there, couldn't find any. Down the sunny, Honey Holler coming after Indian Spideroo between horses, Folk Hero. Now off the rail, here comes Marina Wool for a late bid with Aztec Princess on the outside. It's Honey Holler to get the win. Tight for second here, Indian Spideroo in a photo with Aztec Princess. Back fourth was Marina Wool. Unofficial winning time was 143 and 1. And they're off and racing. On the outside, it is Factorino. Eddie Dominguez comes right out for the early lead. He's going to be joined inside by Smarty John, who's on the move and up to take the lead. Back in third, that is really red. And then up between horses is Legio. To the far outside is going to be a, a rush up from Get Along. And then towards the back of the pack, we have Silver Token on the rail. Please sit down. And the trailer right now is Gypsy Kitten. The quarter mile, 22 and 3 fifth seconds. And Smarty John, Angel Stanley, looking to run away with this one. has got it by two and a half, three over Factorino. Up alongside, here comes Legio darting towards the rail and moving quickly after the leader. Legio now takes over from Smarty John back in second. Third to the outside is Factorino. Then racing fourth, looking for racing room will be Punks. Circling up on the far outside, a late move coming from Get Along and further out yet is Gypsy Kitten. Right now, Legio's got the lead. Trying to get to him on the outside is Punks. Further out, here comes a late bid from Silver. Token full of run, but Legio and David Delgado have got the lead and they're not gonna catch Legio today. The battle for second. Punks in a photo with Silver Token. Looked like Silver Token got it in the final stride. Settling for fourth was Gypsy Kitten. The winning time was 111 and four.